According to World Health Organization, 28,000 Ghanaians die prematurely every year as a result of air pollution. Research results from air quality data assets indicate that more than 80% of waste generated ends up in landfill sites, a major contributor to air pollution in Ghana. Emissions from vehicles and the bedding of biomass in the environment also contribute to air pollution in the country. Professor Dan Westervelt is a research scientist at Columbia University and has been engaged in air quality research in Ghana. He speaks about what the situation is when it comes to the public's knowledge of air pollution and its effects. There's a lot more that needs to be done. Uh, I think folks don't realize that you know, one million people die prematurely per year in Africa due to exposure to poor air quality. The effects of air pollution are not just limited to health complications. Research by Professor Dan Westervelt and his team indicates that air pollution impacts the economy too. People go to the doctor for that and they go and they uh, have to pay for the health insurance or somebody has to pay for it, the government or uh, you know, private insurance if that's a thing. Partnering with the U.S. Embassy, Makafu Yewuku, an entrepreneur and environmentalist, has embarked on a project that seeks to contribute to reducing air pollution in the country. He highlights some steps that could be taken to help bring air pollution levels in Ghana to acceptable levels. Ghana is one of the countries where there's a lot of laws. Sanitation-wise, we have more than 101 laws on the area of sanitation. The challenge we have on our side more is on the implementation side and sustainability. So sometimes we implement things, it's like a nine-day one that we don't sustain them. So it's important for us to focus on the implementation, focus on sustaining it, and then investing some funding. 2023, according to scientists, is most likely to be the warmest year on record a phenomenon resulting largely from air pollution. We can all contribute in various ways to improving the quality of the air that we breathe. Manasya Purum, TV3 News, Accra.